Smash roster is one of my favorite parts in the entire Smash series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Some fighters don't make it in. Welcome to a new foe has appeared, where we are going to brainstorm ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in the future. Let's get into it. Up next. The Wild Area from Pokemon Sword and Shield. An environmental place to be. That's right. I wanted to get to Sword and Shield for a while now, but I could have done this from the beginning, but Sword and Shield hadn't have been released yet when I started and new foes appeared. So here is the point where I get to talk about a character from Sword and Shield. Since the game would have been out for one year this month. And a re-release is coming on Friday. So. The character that got more votes than the other is none other than... Oxtricity. That's right. Toxtricity is who we're going to talk about in this episode. So technically, I I cannot get access to the results because I'm having problems with Amino at this time. But I did a vote on who would get in: Rillaboom or Toxtricity. I did Toxtricity purple and yellow just to make the vote a bit more interesting. So let's get into it, shall we? So here is how I think Toxtricity could work. Poison Jab, Toxtricity charges back his hands and they glow with poison from his fingertips. After charging back for a moment, Toxtricity stabs forward multiple times in a rapid flurry of jabs and finishes with an upward jab. High chance to poison and it also can deal great damage to shield. Acid spray? An acidic poison projectile move. Toxtricity leans back and then spits a sludge ball of purple poison forward about the same distance as me brawler's shot put special the acetic ball of poison will also splat once it hits the ground or an opponent which can splash damage to nearby opponents the acid spray is unique where it doesn't guarantee a poison effect. Instead of the acidic ball has a lower chance to poison opponents, but a higher chance to temporarily lower the opponent's defenses, which is indicated by a shield and a pointing downward arrow of icons of the opponent's head. Boom Burst, the not only non-poison based special move in Toxtricity's moves. Toxtricity charges up a loud punk rock note and releases a loud Shout. So powerful, it sends out shock waves from his vocal cords. Boom Burst takes a moment to charge up. And because of this, while charging, you can move the direction that Toxtricity will be making it. So you can use Boom Burst to move in multiple directions. 
the shockwave deals decent damage and knockback to opponents and has really good recovery one of the best po of the pokemon fighters it doesn't it does leave toxicity in an instant free fall state once reaching the peak so be careful and it's down special being belch similar to wario raft toxicity will build up poison energy as the battle goes on to release with its down special toxicity lets out a loud belch all around him being an even larger belch if you can charge the attack up without using it for a decent amount of time the belch attack has two abilities that depend on if the attack connects with it a poison or not poisoned opponent if the opponent is poisoned when they are hit with the belch attack the special causes a strong longer lasting dizziness effect where toxicity can take advantage and use an electric attack if the opponent is not poisoned when they are hit with a nasty belch they will simply be dealt damage and knockback similar to warrior Ra waft and his final smash and finally his final smash is G-Max Stun Shock. Using its G-Max ability from Sword and Shield, Toxtricity transports to the back of the stage, similar to Bowser's final smash, as it grows into a massive, colossal version of itself, with electricity emitting from all the around its body and glowing electric types. Toxtricity summons a literal electric guitar and wins its back as a column of electricity appears and moves and, and it is movable by the player. The pillar of electricity is massive and covers the height of most stages and only difficult to move around large stages like Donkey Kong 75 meters stage and the Great Cave Offensive stage. Otherwise, the pillar of electricity will cover most of a stage's vertical height. After moving the pillar of electricity to where you want, press B and toxicity will bring the electric guitar slamming downward in the path of pillar with great speed and deadly force. This of course deals massive damage and knockback and will deal even more to poisoned opponent essentially guaranteeing a, K a KO after the attack is done toxicity reverts back to its normal size and rejoins the fight so for the spirit board i went all unique for sword and shield because in my opinion sword and shield should actually use game syncing for the spirit board to work so if you think about it it'll just take your records from the game which game you own and which spirits will appear depending which version of the game you own so technically this is what the spirit board would look like the extended part for Cub Fu, Calyrex, Regilecki and Regidrego will only appear as spirits if you have Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion pack and Leon and Charizard is the new legend spirit for this challenger pack 
And if you're wondering why there's a Dynamax Spirit here, well, technically, this gives us a new mode to play, which is only exclusive to Toxtricity Spirit Board, is Dynamax Spirit. This new mode is exclusive to Toxtricity Spirit Board, which you can encounter random spirits from the Pokemon series, not just Sword and Shield. But the only difference is, the fighter portraying the spirit is huge. Just like the Dynamax in Sword and Shield. And you fight on a new stage created just for this mode. Dynamax Den. 16 Gigantamax forms have been added to the game as spirits. And you can only get these spirits in Dynamax Spirits mode. And all 16 Gigantamax forms are all in the Legend class. And Toxtricity's home stage being Windon Stadium. Technically, it, it behaves like Pokemon Stadium 3 from Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. The G-Max Battleground from Sword and Shield serves as Toxtricity's home stage. The setup of the stage is very similar to a standard Pokemon Stadium stage with a main fighting platform and two floating platforms on each side. And the stage floating over a pit with a stadium of people in the background. The main difference is the series of events that can happen with this stage Instead of changing locations, occasionally a platform in the background will appear as a Pokemon stands there and is transformed into a Gigantamax form. Once in this form, it will deliver some form of attack that can either harm opponents or will cause certain effects on the stage. The available G-Max Pokemon that appear are listed below. Or Beetle reduces gravity on the stage for a short period of time. Butterfree rapidly flaps its wings, causing high wi winds to appear from left or right of the stage. Charizard will blast gigantic waves of fire at certain parts of the stage. Similar to the Tiki Assist Trophy, Machamp, having one shot at the attack, a large reticle similar to Bowser's Final Smash reticle appears as Machamp's charge up a punch and delivers deadly blow to where the reticle is at. This attack works just like Giga Bowser Punch and can KO opponents instantly that have over 100% damage. Machamp only gets one punch to do it though. Center Scorch creates two giant pillars of flames that appear at random spots in the stage. Alcremie appearing like Gigantic cake in the background, how creamy makes cake healing items appear in high quantity. Gengar appears in its nightmarish gi gi Gigamax form and creates several black block black holes around the stage. Lapras floods the stage so water comes all the way up to right under the platforms as the main arena sinks for a short time causing opponents to change the dr to drown. His alternate costume being Amped Form, Low Key Form, Shiny Amped Form, Shiny Low Key Form, Kick Line, 
which is Cinderace themed. Stealthy Punk, which is Inteleon themed. Drumbeat Punk, which is Rillaboom themed. And Dark Punk, which is Obstagoon themed. And his classic mode being Smash Concert, Toxtricity has him face off against opponents who are musically talented or have had games where music played a big part in gameplay and story. Round 1 being Toon Link, The Wind Waker. Round 2 being Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong Bongos. Round 3 being Mario and Peach. Fighting on New Donk City, reference to Pauline. Round 4 being Banjo and Kazooie. Round 5 being Inklings, Calling Marie. Round 6 being Jigglypuff Team. And the boss fight being Ganon, reference to Ganondorf's piano abilities. So, guys, what do you think? of Toxtricity being in Smash. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notifications on. Finally, don't forget to leave a comment when you subscribe. These are the results. In case you are curious, and on this week's Who Will Prevail, these are your two characters. In case you ask, A is not a Fire Emblem character. I repeat, a is not a Fire Emblem character. And don't forget, before we go, I have something big to say. Someone commented on the Sans episode saying, When is the Animal Crossing Direct? And I replied, My fake directs take a lot of time and effort, like one month of effort. But because of COVID-19, my fake directs are harder to work on than my normal videos. So, I should have your request granted soon. So, I will do two more episodes of A New Foe Has Appeared. Then I will be working on an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct for you, in case you are curious. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn notifications on. Finally, don't forget to leave a comment when you've subscribed. BB-8, out.